Bonjour everybody, I'm Alex and welcome back to my channel Alex and Miss Bags. Today we are doing a tag video. I was tagged by Leslie Adina, so I will include her channel in the description below if you don't know her already. To do the luxury raffle tag, which was invented by Connor from the closet by Connor. So I will also include his video and his channel down below. So normally if you do this tag, you actually have 30 questions and you are supposed to pick randomly 10 out of them. I wanted to try something different with this question. So without further ado, let's get into it. Probably the Steven Sprouse, the graffiti one, because it's one that I still to this day would actually love to have. One of the métiers d'art, I think it was last year, I will include the exact collection, but I felt like this collection was so boring. A bag I would be loving right now is probably my newest edition, is my wallet on chain in blue. I will include a picture right here. It's just so pretty and I really feel like it's so magical. So I guess it's not in my collection, right? So it would probably be between the newest Gucci, which I don't really like. I uh, don't really get as well and the Chanel 19 which is still doing like all the rage but I still feel like if they don't give me one with only one hardware I will not be happy with it. A bag I'm excited about. Hmm, maybe I will reveal it soon. I actually don't know, probably the fact that Chanel handbags are not as guaranteed as I would expect it to be. To be honest, right now I'm quite okay with the collection I have, I still have something to reveal, but it tends to be the same obsession, so I would still be on the verge of Chanel. I don't know about the boy, the walk or the mini, but I feel like these three are really my obsession. It will probably be another pair of shoes, I guess. I'm not counting the one I'm going to reveal very soon from Hermes, and I'm not counting as well the newest bag from Chanel I have. And I'm also thinking of bracelets actually, but I don't know from which brand. I want to go on a high jewelry or something just like in leather from YSL, something like that. I'm still thinking about it. It would not be the Hermes pillow, it would not be from Chanel. It would actually be those eggs chairs from Louis Vuitton. I, I feel like these are so special. I don't really understand why it's saying Louis Vuitton in a way, because obviously it doesn't represent really the brand in any way I know actually. But I really admire those chairs from afar and when you go to Paris Vendôme, you can actually look at them sometimes. Again, I'm trying to force myself to use all of my bags, but currently the one I use the most is probably my Chanel Mini in black, I guess. Obviously caviar, you know, I'm a sucker for caviar. Actually, my entire collection is caviar except for the 2.55, which is calfskin. Like Leslie in her video, so I would recommend you to watch hers. Um, I was on the fence about Monogram for so long, to be honest. I was really about Damien Ben, plus I really loved the fact you had treated leather and everything. But I admit, now I'm a sucker for the Monogram, especially with the black leather. It's really a combo I love the most. But the Damien Ben, I admit, it's kind of looking dated right now, so I'm not so much into it, I would say Monogram. So about Cartier, I would say I'm more the type of going for just un clou, I guess, because the love bracelet, I feel like it was so overdone, especially from the Kardashian and everything. And for that, I would say it has a bit less prestige than what it used to for me. I would actually really appreciate the love ring, but about the bracelet, I think I'm more into the just un clou. It's Matière Noire from Louis Vuitton. I really love this perfume more than any of the others I currently own. So I don't know if I already said this in video, but I, I've never used any perfume before, I never purchased any perfume before. But since I'm into the luxurious world, obviously you do have some samples usually, and I actually use them because I don't finish them before I get new ones. But recently I discovered the Hermes H24 and I actually really like this one as well. If you are not talking solely about luxury, I would say Michael Kors because it's a fashion house that just copies everyone and doesn't really invent or create anything. And for that reason, I really don't appreciate this brand. One of my pochette midis, to be honest. You can fit an umbrella or water bottle if you want. It doesn't feel the rain. It's crossbody, top handle, on the shoulder. It has everything you would wish for a bag. And it's quite secure with the lock as well. So I would say it's probably my most practical bag. 
So the best bag for work, I'm tempted to say my sac de jour from Saint Laurent, but to be honest, I would say only if you take the car. If you do travel like by the subway, train or whatever, it can be kind of a hassle because obviously it's open, you can't really close it. That's why I would say the Balenciaga CD that I own, it's very understated, especially in black, you really don't know it's Balenciaga. I feel like it's really carefree as well my Chanel Waterboy because it's the only bag I have in lambskin. It's silver lambskin, the rest is PVC so it's quite fine but about the corners and everything I'm always worried about it. At that point I'm not considering selling any of my bags because I'm quite content with my collection. Obviously there is quite an exception let's say which is my Fendi Peekaboo. I was trying to sell it for about 2000 euros less than the retail price I actually paid because I didn't get it on sale um, which was my very lower limit and it was not selling so I figured I would just keep it use it obviously the cost per wear is extremely high on this bag because I don't use it that much but I made peace with it and I'm keeping it for now. I would say you have either to get a bag without any logo or a bag from a brand that is a bit less known. For example, my Balenciaga is really understated. But I would also suggest maybe something from Celine or like the box bag. It's another bag that is quite understated and if you are not a luxury lover, you would never assume this bag is costing 3000 euros. My entire collection is built on classic silhouettes from well-known designers that tend to keep their retail value and everything like that and tend to stay in style and obviously these brands they are not so well known so we don't know if they are timeless trendy and everything i know the kelly is more practical but broken forever maybe this answer will be different in sometimes but for now I would say Chanel. Maybe at some point I will be at Hermes, but to be honest, not so many things interest me at Hermes anyway. I don't know if I can choose because Prada is a bit more classic, a bit more edgy in a way, but Gucci is always trying new stuff, always innovative, and obviously sometimes it's not tasteful for everybody, but at least they are always daring to do this. So I guess I would choose Gucci even if it's not my style at all. At least they are bringing something new in fashion uh, every time they do something. Okay, so obviously we're not talking about bags, right? I would say jewelry. Even if it's fashion jewelry, if you have a brooch or some earrings with kind of a nice design or a bit of logo, I feel like it always elevates a bit your look. Basically anything high-tech, I feel like it's such nonsense to buy a 300 euros AirPod case or a 1000 euros iPhone case when you change them that often. I also have some problems having to buy cases more expensive than the actual thing you put in it. To me, it doesn't make sense. So actually, I don't have any unicorn bag that I don't own. Uh, so I would say it's my Waterboy from Chanel. And just after, I would say my Pochette Métisine Infrarouge. It's also a bag that started it all. It was at the point where I wanted to start my collection. And once again, I was month late and I was not able to get them. So I would say these two, these are really like the most precious bags I own because they are so me in my favorite brands. I just had to get them. I think I baby them. They have a chair, they have a bag holder. I never put them on the floor. If I'm in the car, my boyfriend actually has to take care of it. And if he has, for example, black jeans on a lighter bag, he can't put it on his legs. He has to carry it like that. So I would say I probably baby them. I guess I don't know because I thought I knew, but then I bought two extra bags since then so i feel like maybe i just don't know okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it obviously i remixed a bit the tag because i wanted to try something else it's totally inspired by combini i don't know if it's in the international media but in france we have these kind of interviews where you ask simple questions simple choice and the person has to answer quite fast so i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below if you did or if you have any more questions that you would like me to answer. Don't forget to follow Leslie and Connor on their respective channels. You have the link in the description down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Alex and his bags. And I will see you very soon in a new video. Bye bye.